Hello and welcome to another installment of Windows 7 for Beginners. I'm Joe and today's adventure is all about battling the dreaded computer virus. While the term computer virus has developed many meanings, we in the computer industry like to use the term malware to describe any unwanted files or programs on your computer. The first and most important thing to remember about your machine is to make sure that it is always patched and updated. This is the first line of defense on your computer and usually where the most vulnerabilities ar arise. To check your Windows updates, there are many ways, but the easiest is to click on the Start menu, go to All Programs, and find the Windows Update button right here. Now when this opens, you'll see the Windows Update window and it'll allow you to see if you can update your computer if necessary, and you can also change the settings. Now here you can have your computer check for updates in the evening, which is what we have set here, so it doesn't interfere with your day-to-day -day interactions. The updates are important because Microsoft releases their security updates through Windows updates. If you miss out on security updates, you can put your system at risk for the newest wave of viruses and malware. Now Microsoft has their security updates, but for the longest time generally stayed away from the antivirus game. Now however, they've got Microsoft Security Essentials. Microsoft Security Essentials is free software from Microsoft that gives you live and scheduled virus scans on your computer. To get Microsoft Security Essentials, you can go to download.microsoft.com. Now it's usually on the front page as you can see here. But if you don't want to go there, you can see the direct link up top www.microsoft.com forward slash en dash us forward slash security underscore essentials forward slash default dot aspx that'll take you right to this page and you can select download now you'll see it gives me the option to run or save I usually like to save my files first but in this case I have one saved already now let's install Microsoft Security Essentials. This install is pretty straightforward, so there isn't anything you should have to change in the settings. Once the update is done, we'll start an initial scan. After the scan runs, you'll have the ability to set your scheduled scan times. Once that first scan runs, these will all become options that you can change. For someone who keeps their PC on all the time, it's a good idea to run it when you're sleeping. Something like 3 a.m. should cover the general population. Now what do you do if you've already gotten a virus? As good as Microsoft Security Essentials is, it isn't foolproof. Our recommendation here at Nextara is Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is a free virus utility that offers some of the most comprehensive scanning available. You can download it at www.malwarebytes.org. Now the free version doesn't offer live or scheduled scanning, but you can run manual scans on some or all of your files, and there isn't a virus scanner out there that's better at finding that pesky malware. Now I already have it on the computer, so I'll show you what it looks like. Now you can update your scan, check for updates of the latest definition files to ensure that you have the best prevention possible. And when you do a scan, you can do a quick scan which covers most of the commonly used files or you can pick a full scan which will allow you to select which drives and it will scan the entire drive. Once it's done it will show you the infected files give you the opportunity to clean them and then more than likely you'll reboot your computer and everything should be good to go. So now you have a few things for combating any viruses you come across. Remember to always keep your machine updated and get good antivirus program. If you follow these steps, you should be well protected as anyone to keep your machine malware and virus free. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe, and this has been another installment of Windows 7 for Beginners. 
don't catch anything. 